This is the place where the police had to open fire against the Gothenburg rioters back in 2001 when the EU summit was here and George W. Bush came to visit Sweden. And that led to the Gothenburg riots. That placed Gothenburg on the world map. 13 people died in 1992 in the olika and ytterligare 29 skadades. It had gone much worse, in fact, if the police had thought quickly. They had hopped in their police car and drove before the car so that the sirens would go and get away from the road. Det var också det året man myntade uttrycket lasta och kör för ambulanspersonalen så man kunde forsa de som hade skalat sig i spårvagnen så fort som möjligt till sjukhuset. Now we're driving up on Avenin. Avenin is the number one parade street in Sweden, I'd say. Not even Drottninggatan or Sveavägen in Stockholm has anything against Avenin. 17 million people pass this road every year. This is the place to go if you want to go for a nice restaurant or a hotel or even if you want to do some shopping. It was Carl Milles that built this fountain in 1931 and he actually intended for the private parts of Poseidon to be a lot bigger. But the city said no, so he compensated and made the fish a lot bigger. The most famous amusement park in Sweden, maybe apart from Grönland, but this one is certainly more visited. It was built in 1923 in time for the, stock, uh, the Swedish World Fair. The name comes from the mountain it stands on. Mountain in Swedish means berg, and Lisa is a female name in Sweden. So Lisa's berg transformed into Lissaberg. Towers now coming up on our right hand side. That is the Gothia Towers. Gothia Towers on our right now. That is the largest hotel in Scandinavia on our right hand side. On floor number 23 you can find the restaurant called the Heaven 23 and inside you'll find the best shrimp sandwiches in Sweden. They sell 150,000 shrimp sandwiches in there every year. This is Ullevi football stadium on your right hand side built in 1958 for the world championships in football. Does anybody know what place Sweden got in that tournament? This is where we sell the first lobster of every season of every year. On the right side also on the iron square that we're driving through now, you can see Olof Palme's Platz. Olof Palme was our prime minister between 1969 until he was assassinated in 1986. Nobody still knows exactly who did it. Speakers. Abba is the number one music expert in Sweden. And this is it. This is the place. This is where Ocean Bus Estelle will transform from a bus into a boat. On our right hand side here now we have Elevator Nobody. This is the island where Gothenburg was actually founded. This is the fifth largest island in Sweden, on our right hand side. Carl IX, he founded Gothenburg in 1603, but then it was all burnt down by the Danish in the Kalmar War in 1611. And then his son, Gustav II Adolf, he rebuilt it on this side of the lake. And they painted the stone red to remember it, but nobody actually knows why. The big square building up there with the towers on it, that is a sugar refinery. And that's exactly where the old Elfsborg castle used to be. And the stones from the Elfsborg castle were used to build the Elfsborg fortress. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to do it one more time. This is where the first Chinese restaurant in Sweden was built. Back in 1947, a Chinese sailor missed his boat home, and he chose to stay behind and open a restaurant called the Chinese Wall. Then we have... Then also? Chicken. Yeah. And then. Okay, then.